A fragrance called Beaver. All a man asks is for a little bit of castorium in there. This one, not animalic at all. Damn. What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to my series of sampling samples. Today I'm gonna to be sampling from the House of Zoologist and their 2014 release called Beaver. So a fragrance called Beaver, I'm looking for some castorium, come on now. Um, now I heard through the grapevine that this fragrance has been re-released or, or reformulated uh, to be a little easier on the notes. Um, so the castorium's kind of gone. And the big notes that I got through my sample are linden blossom, iris musks, and vanilla. So my thoughts on this fragrance, Beaver, um, opens with the linden blossom as the central note. Um, I was taken aback a little bit um, because I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting anything like Linden Blossom from this brand. Um, just thinking about the brand, I'm thinking about fragrances that may be more geared towards the fall and winter, especially with a fragrance called Beaver. I was thinking Castorium, maybe uh, the central theme of this fragrance. Not at all. This is exactly the opposite of Castorium. Linden Blossom gives the scent a bright citrusy floral honeyed sweetness and almost a leafy green with a waxy floral quality. Um, that could be also helped with the iris. The iris kind of gives uh, fragrances, uh, you know, like that makeup vibe. Um, and it also has some watery qualities too. So it's very fresh, almost like, uh, <laughs> I, I don't like saying this, but it, as far as imagery goes, almost like a weightless linens that are hanging outside to dry. Um, that's kind of, the imagery that I was getting when smelling this fragrance. Uh, not bad. Um, some mentioned some strong animalic qualities. I'm assuming they're talking about the old uh, formulation because there isn't much animalic or anything animalic from my sample to my nose at all. And I'm a huge fan of Castorum Civet, all these animalic tones and fragrances, and I didn't get any of that here. Um, when I'm thinking animalic, I'm thinking challenging, daring as a scent. This is so easy to wear. Um, this is not, it's the exact polar opposite. To me, this is all about the linen blossom, some sweetness here from the vanilla, some musks, and that's about it. Um, I didn't get much out of Beaver, to be quite honest. Again, it was just a small, small sample, but um, to me, it was a very simple, straightforward fragrance. Linen Blossom, uh, very nicely done, but nothing that uh, jumps out at me. Uh, as far as staying power, longevity was kind of, eh, five to six hours on my skin with the average projection, so it wasn't really stellar as far as staying power goes. Um, the good and bad things about this fragrance, well, from the name and reviews online, I was kind of half expecting a Castorium-based scent, uh, sadly. I did not get that. It's more a fresh, airy scent that does linen blossom justice it does um it shows most if not all facet of that particular note and that's the central theme here um it's not something i'd buy for over a hundred dollars but the quality is there so it all depends on your personal taste uh pricing you're looking at around 135 dollars usd for a two ounce bottle they are eau de parfum concentration um, my overall score from one to ten bottles i'm gonna have to give beaver a six uh, six bottles out of ten. Um, it's just nothing that really stood out to me uh, for my personal taste. So unfortunately a six. And that goes to final take bo bottle worthy another sample or a pass. So buy, try, or pass. This is a pass uh, from the brand. Um, so unfortunately for me, um, I, I think I would have liked the original formulation. People are talking about Castorium and Challenging and I'm like, yes, that's what I want. <laughs> Um, but for a niche brand and something that's uh, indie like this and something that I'm, I'm expecting, half expecting something, especially with a name like Beaver, grasp that Beaver name and <laughs> give it some castorium in there um, was something that I was kind of let down because I was looking at the wrong reviews, I guess. But uh, unfortunately for me, this is a no-go for me. I'm not because it's a bad set particularly, but I think for that price and for what you're getting, Linen Blossom, eh. It was it was nicely done, but unfortunately for me, I, I is more of a pass. So, thank you for watching. If you have smelt this fragrance, uh, you know if you have the old school bottle here, just comment below and rub it in my face if you want to. Uh, but uh, if you have smelt this fragrance, good or bad, please comment below. I love hearing uh, your take on a particular fragrance that I'm sampling. Um, maybe I have to give it another chance, I don't know. Um, that's what you guys come in and chime in on your thoughts. Thanks for watching, have a good one.